Hi, this video is about making grading scales and rubrics in Schoology. Grading scales and rubrics are tools within Schoology that you can use to uh, evaluate student work and to report uh, the student's level of performance or progress and uh, sometimes provide a little bit better information or more feedback compared to just uh, reporting a number of points or a percentage. So if I want to set up rubrics and scales in my course, I can go here to grade setup on the left hand side and then over on the right would be uh, a menu where you can see scales and rubrics. So by default it'll be at scales. A scale is basically a set of levels or descriptors uh, that you can report instead of just reporting the percentage or points. So you know here I have advanced, proficient, near standard, needs improvement, and to set it up in Schoology, you have to assign each of those levels a certain uh, percentage range. So advanced here is 90 to 100, proficient is 72 to 90, and so forth. You also have to choose a default value uh, if you don't enter in a, a percentage. So if you just select advanced in the gradebook, it has to know what percentage you want that to be. Uh, in this case, I have advanced set it at 100 and proficient at 82 and so forth. So to set up a scale, you just go to add and select scale. It'll come up here. I'm gonna call this one practice two and give it some descriptors. So I'm gonna call it exceptional and that's let's say 85 to 100, whatever I want it to be. I'm going to add a level and put at standard or meets expectations, whatever I want it to be. Let's say that's 65 to 85. And then let's do needs improvement, and that'll be zero to 65. You do have to have it uh, assigned values all the way down to zero so that the system knows how to handle scores that are, are you know, below your, your lowest threshold. So uh, I can then, you know, for the letter conversion, which is the default value for each level, I can just use the average. So it'll just average out the range. So 92 in the middle of 85 to 100, or I can just go in and put in custom values there. So if I want uh, this one to be 78 and I want this one to be 50% or whatever, I can just set that. Again, you can enter in a percentage or number of points and it'll assign the letter grade or in the grade book, you can just select the letter grade and then it'll convert it uh, using this letter conversion score. So I'm going to, uh, oh, sorry, last feature here is that you can click this button to only show the letter grade. What that means is that the student would only see the description like exceptional or at standard. It wouldn't necessarily see the specific percentage associated with that. And that can be helpful for getting the students to think more about their level of performance rather than focusing too much on the exact specific number. So I'm going to save that and there's my practice to scale that I just set up. If I want to create a rubric, I can just come over here and click on rubrics and there are some rubrics. Rubric is basically going to be a, a uh, set of boxes, right, with descriptions, and you just attach that to assignments and click on the boxes to um, not only provide a score for the student, but to also provide some feedback about how they did in different areas. So to add a rubric, I come up, I add rubric, and it'll bring up something like this. I'm going to call this practice three, okay? And then now I have to, you know, decide how many rows do I want and how many points is each row worth? So I can either manually type in a criteria and describe what that means exactly. Uh, and then I can set up the boxes over here. I can create as many different levels as I want and I can assign them you know, various points. So if I want this row to be out of 20 points, I choose 20. Maybe I want the second level to be 16 and then 12 and then let's say 10 and I want the last one to be five. You know, whatever you want is fine. You also then should provide some kind of description of, of what it means to achieve that level based on the assignment that you're working with. Okay. So there we go. Now I can add additional rows to the rubric by clicking on plus criteria. So that'll add additional rows. It'll basically clone the first row including the descriptors. So I can change those then if I want or um, get rid of those. And then I just need to give it some kind of title as well and some kind of description of what it is. All right, if I don't want it to be the same number of points, I can change that. So maybe the second row here is only 10 points. 
uh, actually let's do let's say it's worth 30 points okay and this is 26 and this one is 22 and then 10 and 5 okay let's say that's how I want it it'll it'll show the total number of points over here on the side so this rubric now in total is worth 50 points I can also add lines to the rubric if I have learning objectives set up by just clicking on learning objectives so here I'm going to go into my custom learning objectives these are objectives that I wrote and let's say I'm assessing their ability to develop and use models okay I can add that in and then it's automatically uh, there with the information I need and now I can go in and and set the points or you know uh, write the descriptions for each level that would go with the student's performance for this task. Okay. So then I click create and there it is practice three okay. got my rubric I can now uh, say if I want I can save that rubric to resources which would allow me to use it later uh, in other courses perhaps I can also copy it to a course so if I have a different course where I also want to use that rubric I can do that right there and I can make changes to it as well. So those are the basics of making a grading scale and a rubric in Schoology. If you're not sure, you know, what kind of assignments would work best with those or how to set those up, please let me know.